Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Easy Weeknight Cooking with Heart's Desire Spice Blend. What are we doing tonight? We are doing green slaw. This stuff is awesome. And Lily from Orn More Meadery came up with this for us. And oh, hey, is it good? So, one reminds me that I need to get out the blend that we're going to be using tonight, which is Greek seasoning. It is so good. We are going to need one third cup of Greek yogurt, one third cup of mayonnaise, uh, two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, between three and four and a half tablespoons of lemon juice, and of course, salt and pepper to taste. Six and a half cups of coleslaw shreds or you can just get a bag like this. Two ounces of crumbled feta cheese. You can get it pre-crumbled or you can get it in a brick and crumble it yourself. A tablespoon of our wonderful Greek seasoning. Mm -hmm. One teaspoon of garlic powder and a tablespoon each of fresh. And you can get dried if you have no choice, but fresh is always best for dill, parsley, and chives, my darlings. So what do you say we get on going? First thing we're going to do, get ourselves some sort of a container to mix our dressing in. And we are going to start off with putting in our mayonnaise, right on in there, and our olive oil. Mmm, nummy. Now, mix those guys up real quick. Now, for our Greek yogurt. And you're gonna have to be a little bit delicate with this because sometimes with yogurt, our lemon juice will try to curdle it. So if it tries to curdle on you, go ahead and next time just put it in later. And it's not gonna be a huge deal, but hopefully with everything going in this way with all the mayonnaise and olive oil, we won't have any curdling going on. Pour in the lemon juice a little bit at a time. And you should not get any curdles with this with everything going on. Oh, beautiful. Next thing we need to do, add our herbs and spices. We have a teaspoon of garlic powder right there. Mm, ring the bottle. So we need one tablespoon of our Greek seasoning. We need two more teaspoons of our Greek seasoning to make a full tablespoon. If your tablespoons do not fit in the neck of this guy, use three teaspoons. Next thing we're going to do is I'm gonna teach you a little bit about chopping your herbs. It's a really kind of fun way to do things is using fresh herbs. We have some fresh parsley here, some fresh dill here, and I've already minced up some chives. Mm. My mouth is watering. The smell is incredible. So when you're doing this, you don't want a huge knife for this, but something that you can put a hand on top of. And what you're going to do is you're going to use a rocking and sliding motion on your herbs to make sure you get through all the herbs and so that you don't end up with what I call the green onion effect. When you're chopping green onions, you invariably, unless you do it just right, get a long string of green onion. That doesn't come apart though. There's a bunch of cuts in it because the very bottom hasn't been cut quite right. So when we're mincing this up, you're going to have a sliding motion with each cut so that these do not actually stick together. So from there, you can do a finer dice. We only want about a tablespoon of each of these. And we want them fine enough so that you don't get a bite of parsley and a bite of dill and stuff like that. We want those flavors to meld really nicely. Meanwhile, add just a little bit of fresh greenness to your slaw. So that is a really nice amount of parsley right there. Nice small dice. And we're gonna do the same thing with some fresh dill. Fresh dill is a lot of fun. It's really kind of feathery. And I like to use the stuff that you can get from the supermarket. And with the dill, you do not need to cross cut it. Just cut it along perpendicular to the stock and it will dice very nicely at that point and get very feathery and very, very small which is what we're looking for. And so about a tablespoon of each of those is what we are definitely looking for. And we can put that in the dressing or we can put that in our shreds. I like putting it in the dressing, honestly. That way everything is more evenly distributed. So next thing we're going to do 
is break out our shreds in a good sized bowl. You need tossing room for this. That way the stuff doesn't hit the entire kitchen instead of staying in the bowl. Open up your shreds, put them in your bowl. Now, occasionally with things like this, you have some larger pieces that escape. So you can go ahead and pick through and see if you do have some really large pieces like that. I am going to cut that up. So go ahead and check your shreds for larger pieces so you can just dice them up really quick. Now I'm going to put that aside and bring this over, put my herbs, my fresh herbs right into the dressing. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. You need to see this. Look at that, seriously. Oh, it's beautiful. Go ahead and fold those herbs in. Give it a quick stir. And what we have next is our shreds, our feta cheese, and our dressing. So pour your dressing on in. You can pour it in in layers if you like. I do that when I'm making a large amount of coleslaw. Always do that when you're doing a large amount of coleslaw. But otherwise, it's not impossible to get all the coleslaw covered. And give it, fold that stuff in, gentle folds. That way, everything just incorporates really nicely and this is smelling amazing oh my gosh all that savory goodness the bright savory goodness that's coming off of that dressing plus the sweetness coming off of the slaw oh really now that this is well incorporated you can see a little bit of it as i scrape down the bowl there mm. Now it's time for your feta cheese. Make sure this is well crumbled. And you can kind of crumble the, uh, the larger pieces again if they're not terribly small. And put that aside. Now you can use your feta cheese as a garnish or you can fold it in. If you wanna fold it in, it adds a, a salty vinegary taste to things. And you know what? Salt and pepper to taste here, as well as you know your lemon juice. I'm gonna give it a few turns of fresh cracked pepper. And I'll probably do that on the top as well. And fold that in. Ooh, that fruitiness from the pepper is so good. I love pepper, can you tell? And so fold that in again until you're seeing little bits of your feta cheese everywhere. And now, scrape down the bowl again because if you're gonna be serving out of this bowl i'll tell you there is something really wonderful about clean sides on your bowl presentation people eat with their eyes before they even smell something and then they definitely going to be feasting with their eyes then feasting with the rest of their senses smell comes in second taste is always a third so definitely make this just beautiful let me go ahead dish a little bit out and take a taste you're gonna want to let this sit for just a little bit before you serve it to people the reason why you want to let this sit for just a little bit before you serve it to people is so all the flavors can come friendly and just become one with the dish let me go ahead and get a fork and i'll tell you what this tastes like so beautifulness right there you see flecks of all of your herbs and spices smell a little bit of that pepper especially if you crack some on top i see some of the dill on here i see a little bit of the feta in here a little bit of the black pepper mm. Mm. really wow lily does not stop when it comes to the flavor department she is wonderful at coming up with really great recipes that just blow you away. And this is not disappointing. The first thing you actually taste are those, honestly, um, the lemon and the Greek yogurt amongst the Greek seasoning just kind of melt together. And you get this rather bright taste without it being 
really astringent without it being that vinegary pucker. It's a little bit tamer than that. It is a very, very Greek taste. And you, you taste that rosemary just come out nice and bright. So that is the first thing I taste here. And the dill adds a beautiful flavor to that, just adds to the whole experience. Now I'm gonna take a bite with a little bit of feta cheese in it. Mm. Oh yeah, and the feta cheese adds a totally different flavor for every bite that it's in. And you get this different texture there that's both creamy and has a chew to it. It's really kind of fun. As well as that just really salty vinegary kind of burst that is just plain feta cheese. It's awesome. So from our kitchen to yours, there you have it, Greek slaw. And that one came out of Orinmore Meadery. Lily from Orinmore Meadery does a fantastic job in coming up with recipes and I love it. So keep things tasty and we will catch you next week with Cajun-inspired potato salad. Yum. Yeah.